everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Team Toyota of Princeton to check out a brand new 2024 Toyota Tacoma. This is the TRD Off-Road with the long bed. So we have the six foot bed instead of the five, which I believe is gonna be more desirable for people who are gonna use this for work. Well, we're gonna check out this Blue Crush Metallic Tacoma TRD Off-Road. See what it's bringing to the table here for the 2024 model year. See what these new changes bring as well. So let's dig in. Front end of this Tacoma TRD Off-Road, we got the Blue Crush Metallic, great color, flat black on the front, grill area, top and bottom, LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, LED fog lamps, standard bulbs for turn signals, functional side air curtains, looking good here on the front of this Tacoma TRD Off-Road. As we move on around to our wheel and tire setup, now when you go TRD off-road, this is the action you're gonna get right here. So we got a 17 inch machined aluminum alloy TRD wheel in satin black. Now, these 17 inch wheels are wrapped in BF Goodrich Trail Terrain tires, 265 on the width, a 70 series sidewall 17s, all four corners, four-wheel drive. Now, if we take a look at our front suspension, we're gonna go TRD, tuned front suspension, and we have Bilstein shocks up front. Rear suspension is going to be coil springs with a multi-link. So that's how they're gonna run with this one. The six-foot bed, I think, makes this, uh, this pickup truck more desirable. Maximum ground clearance here on the 24 Tacoma TRD off-road is 11 inches. As we move on in closer, we are color matched on our side view mirror. We go flat black on the front and rear door handles. Up top, we have a color matched roof, shark fin antenna, no sunroof. The rear end of the Tacoma, we got a lot of sun glare, so I'm gonna to try to move the camera around. But we're looking at LED lighting in the back, the six foot bed with the TRD off-road call outs. We're gonna be flat black on the bumper area. You see your exhaust tucked up underneath and coming out the left side of the vehicle. Now, towing numbers, we're looking at 6,400 pounds max towing on the TRD off-road. So let me know what you think so far about this six-foot bed Tacoma. We're under the hood of this TRD off-road. What do we have for a power plant? Well, we have Toyota's 2.4 liter I-Force turbocharged inline four-cylinder engine made it to an eight-speed automatic transmission. 278 horsepower, 317 pound-feet of torque, MPGs, 19 in the city, 23 on the highway, 21 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. All right, before we get into the interior, you're gonna to wanna to know, Mike, how much for the long bed action? Well, here we go, 2024 Tacoma TRD Off-Road 4x4 double cab long bed, base is 43400 Now, for your mechanical and performance, that comes uh, included in the base price. Like I mentioned, the engine transmission. We have the four-wheel drive with two-speed electronically controlled transfer case. We have the off-road tuned suspension with Bilstein shocks, coil spring multi-link rear suspension, electronically controlled locking rear diff, multi-terrain select crawl control with downhill ascent control and a tow hitch receiver. But then, we add in the options and destination and delivery of $1,495 from Toyota's Guanajuato, Mexico assembly plant. And we have a total MSRP from the factory of $47,055. So let's check out the interior. Starting with the driver door panel, we'll move on in. We're all black and quite monochromatic except for the blue trim that says TRD on it, which looks nice. But what we're going to do here, we're going hard black plastic up top. Should be soft touch. Then we got some kind of like brushed aluminum on our door handle here, which looks okay. The armrest is soft. We have a rubberized grab handle, flat black on the switch gear, a couple of different door pockets to help you store some stuff. But I don't know. Let me know if you would have liked to see a little bit more flare on this TRD off-road. Let me know. But as we move to the foot box, a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator, Carpeted floor mats are in the back of the vehicle at this time. And then with the seats, we're going to go manual seats for the driver and front passenger, but the driver does get a power lumbar setting, but no power seat. 
Hmm, I'm not so sure about that. Two-tone black and light gray cloth interior. Passenger door panel, same as the driver's. Standard audio system up top. Hard black plastic, and then we have an area for storage, but it's not rubberized, so things may slide around. Then you have the blue trim that has Tacoma on it, which looks cool. Heat and air vents, and then we have nice large glove box. Now, infotainment screen in here, this is an option. This is the oversized 14-inch Toyota infotainment system, wireless CarPlay Android Auto. It does have built-in nav, but that's a subscription uh, through Google only to get that. But we do have our music. Now, if I enable the audio, I have to make sure my volume is down. So we can enable the audio, and now we'll turn the volume off. And you're going to get your Sirius XM regular radio stations, that kind of jazz, right? And then you can get, you got your phone where you can Bluetooth. You got your vehicle settings where you got your trip information right here. You can go to your vehicle alerts. You can go to your regular settings, set up your driver profile, Bluetooth devices from here, set up your Wi-Fi hotspot if you want to do that. Vehicle customization. We can go in there. We got our lights, door control, climate, and utilities. So if we wanted to customize our lights, we could do that over here. So it's a nice, easy system to use. Easy peasy, one, two, three. We look at our backup camera. Huge backup camera. Takes up the whole screen, which I like. Nice and clear with trajectory, as it should be in a new vehicle. And you can change your views or maximize it or minimize it. And then you can change your, as you can see, pavement markings, the trajectory markings, however you would like. So it's pretty easy. No problem at all. And then we're back to the beginning. Here's our red TRD off-road push button start. We have two heat and air vents. This is your volume. Down below, we have a climate control with three stage heated seats for the driver and the front passenger. So they got you covered there. Then we have our modes for infotainment system and then more controls for the climate system. Down below, as you can see, we've got two USB-Cs over on the passenger side trying to get a shot of this with not getting blurry. There we go, with a 12 volt, and then this is where your wireless charging with it would be, but this doesn't have wireless charging. Now, here's our TRD gear shift with the leather gator and the stitching looks nice. It's gonna take you through the eight speed automatic. Then we have our uh, parking uh, electric emergency brake, excuse me, auto vehicle hold. Here's our drive modes right here that we'll go through when we take a look at the dash. And then a lot of dead switches here with your rear diff lock is the only one that's operable. Mm. And then we have two cup holders and then our Toyota key fob for this TRD off-road. Here it is, lock, unlock. We have our panic button, Toyota badge, nice and light. And then here in the middle, we have a semi-soft armrest in soft touch. We open that up and we have a nice area for storage inside. Toyota steering wheel, it's a nice leather wrap wheel, feels good, nice 10 and 2 notches, Toyota badge on the horn button, flat bottom wheel, I have a good amount of room to get in and out of this Tacoma, so I'm not worried about that, and then we have flat black on our switch gear, so over here you got your voice commands, volume, controls for the digital portion of your dash, and that sort of jazz, and then on the right, you got your adaptive cruise safety suite controls modes for your infotainment system. And then on the stalks, we're going to go headlights and fog lamps on the left. And then on the right, windshield wipers. And then down below here on the left, we got a little bit of action. We can brighten and dim our uh, dash, adaptive high beams, traction control off. And down here, this is where you can have your bed lighting either always on, always off, or activated by the door. And then we have a manual tilting and telescoping wheel. So they got you covered there. And then we have a fully digital dash right here. So let's take a look at our drive modes. So we can go into eco, normal, sport. And then if I push the tow haul button, we can go to tow haul. And that green light just pops on. And then we can go to crawl, and that's, of course, unavailable right now because we're not doing anything in this car. <laughs> then we can go back to our regular drive modes, and so there you have it there. And then, of course, you have additional information, or excuse me, you can control, change how you want 
your gauge cluster to look depending on what you have up. So let's try this number one. We'll click OK and we'll have that set. So that looks pretty good. And then you can move stuff around on either side depending on what you want to do or what you want to see as you go down the road. So it is really quite easy to use and I do like how it looks. Overhead console, there you have it. If you want your dome lighting to come on and off when you open and close the door, this button remains in the center on door. When you open the door, lighting comes on. Close the door, lighting will dim out. Here's the spot for your sunglasses right there. SOS button in case there's an emergency on the road. We have a standard framed rear view mirror. And then our sun visor with vanity and a light. Does it slide? Yes, it does. Getting in the double cab of this TRD off-road, I have the seat set for my driving position, so I'll hop on in. Nice flat roof, but duck if you're taller than 5 foot 11. Now, I'm in. I have the seat set for my driving position. Plenty of headroom, shoulder width room. Enough knee space here at 5 foot 11, but you're taller than me, your knees are going to hit. Especially if this seat is set for somebody who's my size. If you got a short driver, you should be okay. Now we got the light gray cloth all the way down, no seat pocket behind the driver. We have one behind the front passenger, two cup holders, two USB C's here in the back. And then again, the back door panel, same as the driver, all hard black plastic except for the brushed aluminum on the door handle and that TRD blue trim. And now rear seats, same cloth with the black and light gray. And now we do not have a center armrest here at all. But this, and I'll show you why, because we're sitting three across, but I'll show you their storage behind the seats that I'll show you here in a minute. But overall, it's pretty comfortable here in the back. But again, if you're taller than me, taller than five foot 11, you're going to have a hard time back here unless you got somebody driving that's fairly short. All right, getting into the bed of this Tacoma long bed. So we got the six foot bed on the back. Just come on up. I do like how they have Tacoma stamped in. Looks cool. Now we open up the tailgate, have Tacoma come down on the bed liner. We got the spray in bed liner, six foot bed, like I mentioned, max payload 1,709 pounds. We do have some, some rails for some tie downs. We have LED bed lighting. We do not have a home power source back here at all. Would have liked to have seen that, but I do like the fact that we have tie downs and we have the spray in liner. So let me know what you think about those payload numbers on this Tacoma. Toyota window sticker, we'll move on in. Tacoma, TRD off-road, 4x4, double cab, long bed. That's a mouthful. Blue crush. MPGs. Estimates, of course. Standard equipment. Options. Destination and delivery, total vehicle MSRP. Let's take this baby out for a spin. All right, we're out on the road in this 24 Tacoma TRD off road with the long bed in this blue crush metallic, which is a great color, I think. Let me know what you guys think. Great visibility out the windshield, side glass, side view mirrors, no problem. Blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, all that jazz in this Tacoma for safety. LED lighting up front, headlights and DRLs, LED taillights in the back for safety as well. Four wheel drive, TRD suspension, as I mentioned earlier in the review, 11, maximum ground clearance of 11 inches. So they're bringing some good stuff as far as the performance pieces for the off-road trim. Of course, they were also present in 2023 uh, with the 23 Tacoma. They basically had the same kind of setup with a couple of little changes, and that's about it. So that's not a surprise. Uh, obviously, the big surprise is the engine change from the V6 to this iForce 
Turbo 4. Now, 278 horsepower, 317 pound-feet of torque. Not bad numbers, not best-in-class numbers. That goes to General Motors with their Colorado, Chevy Colorado and GMC Canyon mid-size pickup trucks. Their 2.7 liter Turbo Max is gonna do 310 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque and tow up to 7,700 pounds. This Tacoma can tow up to 6,500 pounds. So, the power plant war in this midsize pickup for 24 goes to General Motors. But, overall, what kind of value in this TRD off-road are we going to get? Well, we got the six-foot bed. And I know there's a lot of people out there that like midsize pickups, but the five-foot bed is too short. And they want the long bed. So I think this is more desirable than that TRD Sport we saw with the five foot bed. You got the six foot, so you got more room to store longer things, and you got a little bit more payload capacity. Toyota's five foot bed goes 1,705 uh, pounds of payload capacity. This goes 1,709 pounds of payload capacity. So a little bit more, but you get the length, which I think a lot of people will like. But as far as the interior value, at a $47,000 price point, we have cloth seats that are manual, which I don't know. I don't know if that's bringing much value at all. We do have the big 14 inch screen rather than the standard screen, but I don't need anything that big. I'd probably be happy with the eight inch, but let me know if you like this bigger screen. We do have heated seats, but we don't have a heated steering wheel. Uh, and we don't have ventilated seats. We don't have a wireless charging pad, even though we have USB-C. We don't have an, a, a rear window that opens behind the people in the double cab, like we saw in the TRD Sport. That was an automatic one, but not even a manual one in this one. No window at all that opens up in the back of the double cab. Uh, and we don't have any power outlets in the six-foot bed. So there are some things in here that I think are lacking at a $47,000 price point that I just pointed out. So you let me know what you think. Uh, but the more and more I get to look at these 24 Tacomas, the more and more I'm thinking that Toyota may be missing the mark on their pricing because their pricing on the Tacoma has gone up significantly from 2023. And I don't see where people would find that they're getting any extra added value for money. And in today's market, with car prices high and with interest rates high, people are looking for value for money in any kind of car, including a pickup truck. So let me know what you think about all this. Now, we have a massive turning radius on this, 24 feet. It's the largest turning radius of any vehicle we've tested so far. So we're not making it if the number's right, and it's right, because we're not even close. So we're gonna have to do the K-turn, but I do like how that camera takes up the whole 14-inch screen. And then we can make the K-turn and go down the road. We'll hit the gas a little bit. And off the road we go, but the suspension feels good. Right? I know this is an off-road spec and we're not going off-road, but the suspension feels good. We got some different drive modes. You got crawl control, you got multi-terrain select, you got all that stuff for off-roading. You got a good number on ground clearance at a maximum of 11 inches. So that's a good number uh, for this Tacoma. And of course that's up uh, from 2023 in a pretty decent way, about an inch and a half up from 2023. So that's a good deal. Um, but let me know what you think about this Tacoma. Obviously, you're going to get some wind noise in this pickup truck and some road noise with these all-terrain tires, and it's going to, not going to handle very well, but it's an off-road spec. But let me know, is this TRD off-road with a six-foot bed something that you want, something that you would want to be going down the road in, something that maybe you'd trade in your old Tacoma for, or... Will this bring you over to the Toyota Tacoma from another brand? Put that in the comments as well. But I do want to thank Team Toyota of Princeton for allowing the channel access to this 2024 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road 
4x4 with the long bed in blue crush metallic for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.